do you want to know what's happened when you take cheap piece of brief and cook it for 24 hours? You will end up with something like this. Tender and super tasty piece of meat. So today, I'm gonna show you how you can do it at home and how you can use it in fine dining recipe. So let's do it. So I have here this beautiful oyster blade and the first thing I have to do is to sear it. So I put some vegetable oil on cast iron pan and I will make nice color around. Don't forget to sear even sides and now it's time to season it. So I put good amount of salt, pepper, garlic powder and caraway seeds around. Then I put meat inside a sous vide bag with fresh thyme and I vacuum seal it. And I'm gonna cook it 24 hours for 70 degrees Celsius. Next thing I have to start with is my beetroot puree. So I clean few beetroots, cut the sides, put them inside the baking mold. Also put some water, olive oil, season it with salt, pepper and fresh thyme and close it with tin foil. I'm gonna make few small holes so the air can go out and I bake it around 180 degrees Celsius until the beetroot will be soft. For my vegetable I will use some salsify. So I clean it properly first and then peel it. I will mix water with white white vinegar and I keep peeled salsify in, so they will not lose a color. Now I peel few nice slices and I gonna fry them in the hot oil so I get nice chips for my garnish. Put some salt on the top and they are ready to go. The rest of the salsify I put inside a pot, cover them with water, with white white vinegar, salt and sugar and I'm gonna cook everything slowly until salsify will be soft. And now it's time to start with my beetroot sauce. So I cut few beetroots and I will juice them out. Mm -hmm. 
Then I put juice inside the pot with one clove of crushed garlic, fresh thyme and I reduce it down by half. I have here the meat which was cooked for 24 hours and then chill it inside the fridge overnight. So I will open it and pass the juice through the chinois. Beetroot juice is reduced now, so I put beef juice in. Also put a little bit more of my homemade beef stock, two spoons of red white vinegar and I keep reducing down. And now let's cut the meat. When the meat is cold, it's very easy to cut and hold the shape. When I'm gonna reheat it inside the sauce, the meat becomes super tender again. And guys, if you like what I'm doing and would you like to learn from me personally, learn how you can create your own dishes and improve plating so you can amaze everyone who comes to eat at your house, you can apply for my one-on-one -on -one online coaching on my website chefmike.com and if you will be good fit, I will make you the best home cook in your town. My sauce is reduced, so I pass it through the chinois and I gonna reheat slowly the meat in. At this time, our beetroot soft, so I take them out of the oven. Peel them properly. Chop them to smaller pieces. And I put them inside the blender with the remaining water and I gonna blitz it properly. Then I put little bit of olive oil and delicious beetroot puree will be done. At this time, is my salsify cooked, so I will cut my portions out of it. Then I put vegetable oil, butter and fresh thyme inside the pan and I will roast the salsify in. As you can see, I have two different shapes and that's because I want to do two platings. The second plating option you can see like always on my Patreon page. Get the link in the description down below. And guys, if you like today's recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what would you like to see more on my channel so I can make it for you. The meat is reheated now and ready for the plating. This is something you have to try yourself. Super tender, tasty, with nice color. It takes time, but it's definitely worth it. 
Have a try, guys. I start the plating with my oyster blade cooked for 24 hours. Then is coming my sassy fee. Few dots of beetroot puree. Sassify chips. Few salad leaves on the top. And finish it with delicious beetroot sauce. I totally recommend you to try it at home guys. And if you would like to see more recipes like this, don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell so you're never gonna miss any of my new videos. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.